don't tell me you got roped into the support group carry on as well. No. The girl is like a dog with a bone. I can't believe that in a hospital full of doctors and nurses, no one, including her own mother, has got through to her that she does not have Asperger's. Yeah, well, people have tried. Me too. Maybe to try again. You don't have a syndrome, Bella. You have an annoying personality. I think my idea might be a little less hurtful. Hi. Hey. Oh, could you check a tea bag and a cup for me too? Sure. Excellent. I have something for you to do. Oh, I'm on my break. I have to be very exact about the times that I take my breaks, otherwise I start to get this really funny feeling in my tummy. What's known as hunger. You treat that by doing what's known as eating. It's a standard assessment questionnaire for you. It will only take you about ten minutes. Hold on. Are you trying to trick me? Absolutely not. I just thought you might want some actual answers. Why does nobody believe that I have Asperger's? Take the test and prove everybody wrong. Fine, I will. Middies, mine are less flowery. Well, they taste pretty good to me. So, have you had plenty of support? Yeah, Scotty and Tracy are amazing. And Daniel's proving himself to be the world's best son. And TK, when was the last time he was around? Uh, just before they went up to the Bay of Islands. Who went up to the Bay of Islands? He and Roymata. Did they now? Yeah, they're taking their honeymoon as a holiday and those two definitely need one after everything they've been through. Oh, he's swanning around in the Bay of Islands while you're here, feeding and changing nappies and looking like death warmed up. <laughs> do I look like death warmed up? Yes, you do. Look, I'm fine with him going away. I always knew that TK was going to get on with his life and I would get on with mine. Come back home with me for a couple of weeks. What? Well, we could look after you. You could eat and sleep and relax. You and the little one. Wow, um, Queenie, that's, that's a really lovely offer, but I think I'd feel a bit weird. You're part of the Farno, Sarah. No, I'm not really. And I don't think Roy Mutter or TK would be very comfortable with it. It's not about them. It's about you and Mirei Kura. That's the other thing. Um, I haven't decided on a name yet. Eh? I know that that's what the Fano wants, but she just doesn't look like a... Mirei Kura to me. Not to mention the fact that I can hardly even say it. You'd get the hang of it. No, I don't think so. I'm sorry, Queenie. Is there another name you like? Matilda. Tilly. Tilly? Well, that's what the baby thinks about that. <laughs> Harry, you're not looking too flash. I'm sick. He has the boy flu, which is almost as bad as a full blown man flu. Harry, have you seen or heard from Kitty today? No. Where is he? What's happened? We had to tell him this morning that he wouldn't be staying in New Zealand. He got upset and climbed out the bedroom window. We thought he might be coming to see her. I haven't seen him. I've been here all day. He has. I really wish I did know so I could help. Well, you still might. Is there anywhere he might go that we haven't thought of? If you were Ketu, where would you go? The gym, probably, where we had the soccer clinic. We've looked there already. We hid under the stands when the coach made us run laps. That's the only place I can think of. You've got a real knack for that. Actually, most people have a knack. Almost everyone except me. Maybe she doesn't like me. Oh, Sarah. Ko kwe tōna fire. Her mother. You are the most important person in her life. <laughs> Lucky her. <laughs> you can name the baby what you like. Really? It's your right as her mother. But that would hurt you guys, the Fano. Is Marae Kura that bad? No. No, it's not bad at all. It's beautiful. But it's not what you want. It's okay. Tilly Samuels. Matilda. <laughs> Sounds like a grown-up's name. She will be a grown-up one day. Matilda. Marae Kura Samuels? We'll see. 
was fun. I never thought that I'd say that a test was fun. I hated exams at school, and then I failed beauty school. But now that I know my people like exams, I've realised I actually do too. OK, um, we have a result. Category 5 is the highest. It indicates a person with Asperger's or high-functioning autism of some sort. Yes, I told you! Hold on. Your score does not put you in Category 5. Well, where does it put me? Category 3. Which means? The quirky end of normal. <laughs> You're not on the spectrum at all. No, that's bull. Isn't it a good thing? Uh, the result must be wrong because I'm not very good at tests. Even though you like them. You can't argue with this. I can, and I am. I, I don't know why you were doing this. Because you're driving me nuts. Did you hear that? Intolerance for people who are different. You're not different. Well, at least not in the way that you think you are. And you are nothing but a small-minded bigamist. What? <laughs> I think she meant bigot. <laughs> it's not funny. You're back. Yeah, um, about half an hour ago. Uh, baby awake? Uh, no, actually, uh, um, okay. she's... Um, I came around for something else anyway. Uh, something I thought I should tell you before the word gets around. <sighs> Look what the cat dragged in. Auntie, uh, what are you doing here? Visiting our moko because someone has to. Supporting our moko's fire so she doesn't collapse with exhaustion. It's okay, I'm not that bad, really. Um, what was it that you wanted to tell me? Spit it out. Um, uh, we got married. Uh, Roy Mutt and I, in a registry office up in Whangarei. And what if he's not here? Then we'll check back home again. Oh, you really think he's going to be there? He'll be hungry. He's upset. Hey, with us, we've let him down. Kitu? Kitu? Oh, thank God. Kitu? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come down. No! Let me go! Look, look, look. I only just got you back. I'm not going to let you go, OK? But you don't want me! 